guys, One Piece Nation here today with my review of Boruto episode 7 entitled Love and Potato Chip. Um, I'm obviously in a different setting and very quiet. I'm at my grandparents right now. I don't have my microphone. The lighting is not very good, but I'm doing this anyway. I don't have any of my equipment, but whatever. Let's get into this. So, this episode of Boruto was really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, the aspect with the guy, with the guy just knew, were not good. Sorry about the lighting. That's just the way the computer works. So I'll try not. No, no man. But um, the aspect with the guy, with the guy just knew, were weird. I didn't like it. Everything else, I, I, I didn't like the main plot of the episode. If that makes any sense. I don't like it at all. I think the main plot was weird. I think it was kind of creepy. The whole guy with the sky just you stalking the class rep woman. I just, I didn't feel that. And it honestly made me very uncomfortable. So it, it made me incredibly uncomfortable. The, the, the kids were like, eight. It's weird. It's creepy. Disturbing. I did not like it. The bits with Chocho were great. Like, the, uh, her, like, romantic, her, like, romance to food analogies were amazing. <laughs> like, she's, like, describing a, a romantic relationship using potato chips. I mean, it's really good. Um, and I also, I really like Chocho. Chocho's speech about being a man, I didn't really like. I mean, honestly, it, just, it felt really kind of, che it was really cheesy and stupid. But then again, this is this Boruto is aimed at a younger audience, so that is to be expected. Sorry, it's really hot in here, but uh, what else is there? Uh, okay, so we we see Boruto does sketches of the black ore that's surrounding people. Um, apparently, Boruto and Chikada are so stupid they thought it was something other than chakra. I'm not quite sure why they thought it was something other than chakra. It's very strange. It doesn't really make sense. I mean, what else would it be besides chakra? Right? Like, it was weird. It was like, that that, that didn't sit well with me. But, uh, that bothered me. Aside for that, it was really good. What I really loved about this episode was Serana. Serana kind of just stood in the back the entire episode, which is like, I give no craps expression on her face. Like, 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 you know, her best, she finds out her best friend is being stalked by this creepy stalker guy with a disguise just, and the guy appears to be, like, 13, and Jojo's, like, 8, and it's a rather response to this, it's to lean against, it's to lean against the wall, and just stare at the situation to see what's going on. I mean, and we know from Naruto Gaiden that even before she graduated from the academy, Serata is skilled enough to somewhat use the enhanced strength of Zunate Senju and Sakura Haruno. And we also know that she is capable, that she quickly would be able to learn how to use the Sharingan, and that she is an incredibly gifted Kanoichi, so Serata is kind of just chilling, letting all these events play out. Um, so yeah, there isn't much more for me to say on this. It's a relatively short episode. Uh, we get to see Naruto again. We could, I mean, two episodes with Naruto at the end. I'm not a biggest fan of that. That all these episodes just end with Naruto just sitting in his office, like, well, what should we do now? Like, I expected a little bit more enthusiasm from the Hokage, but I guess not. It kind of just like emo, like. What shall we do today, people? How should we deal with this situation? I am the Hokage, so I must be very serious. We've never had a Hokage that was actually funny before. <laughs> I mean, it was kind of annoying. But, um... You know, so Naruto and Chikamaru just got what to do. Apparently, this has been happening to other people. People are like, their chakra is acting weird, or like, running low on it. And they're ending up in the hospital. Now, I'm assuming Sakura is going to come into the play pretty soon. Sakura and Zerada are going to get involved. Like we may see some of them. If this is becoming such a big deal, people are being hospitalized. Maybe, well, maybe, maybe. I have a feeling that next episode is going to end with Naruto going to... Okay, so, let, you know, let's talk about the next episode. Actually, you know what? I'll say that for my prediction video that I'm about to record after this. 
But the point is, and I think it was a relatively good episode. We got to see Naruto and Shikamaru. Minky and Cork were talking about Boruto at the end. More of the same kind of stuff. But Minky does say one thing that I found interesting, though. Why can only Boruto see them? So he knows something. And that's about it. I mean, we don't get much more with it. Serata now definitely knows something is going on. Was it going to be interesting? I'm very interested to see how all of this brings Boruto, Mishki, and Serata together as a team. Because I'm assuming they're going to come together as a team before they become officially a team under Komahamaru. That is my opinion. But yeah, that's the way this episode knew it. Honestly, I'll have to give it a 7.5 out of 10. It, uh, honestly, it was just the thing with the guy talking to, talking me up, prep girl. It was, it was, it was disturbing, and it was honestly kind of creepy and made me uncomfortable. And then I also didn't really like the bit when uh, that was really all I didn't like. I mean, the thing is that we always know we don't really that when we do see Naruto, we kind of just like bleh, that kind of bothered me. But yeah, I'm gonna go probably record and work on the prediction video. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, to leave it a like and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation, signing out. Have a nice day. Sorry there's no editing in this.